CompTIA, Tech Plus, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.2, Identify Notational Systems. Binary. In the last segment, we explored the decimal system, the one we use every day without thinking about it. But when it comes to how computers actually store, process, and transmit data, they don't use decimal. Instead, they rely on something much simpler and much more powerful for machines, the binary notational system. Binary is a number system that has only two possible digits for each place value. Those digits are 0 and 1. That's it, just 0 and 1. And just like the prefix DEC in the word decimal means 10, the prefix bi in binary means 2. You'll see the same prefix in words like bicycle, which has two wheels, or biweekly, which describes something that happens every two weeks. That prefix reminds us that binary is all about two options. That's why you won't find the digits 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 in binary. Just 0 and 1. Now, let's talk about how binary works. While decimal has each digit's place value increasing by a factor of 10, the binary notational system behaves a bit differently. Here, each place value only increases by a factor of 2. So the first position is worth 1, then 2, then 4, then 8, and so on. As you move left, the place value doubles. While this may look very different, this structure still allows binary to represent any number, just like decimal does, but in a way that fits perfectly with digital hardware. So why would a computer use a number system with only two digits? Well, it comes down to how computers are built. At the hardware level, computers are made up of billions of tiny electronic switches called transistors. These switches have just two states, off or on. And binary maps perfectly to this. Zero represents off, and one represents on. That's why binary is the computer's native language. It's a direct match to how the machine works physically. But binary isn't just useful for powering hardware. It's also a great way to represent two-state ideas in software. Things like true or false, yes or no, or whether something is enabled or disabled, can all be stored and processed using binary logic. Now let's pause for a moment and look at a simple conversion chart. This chart shows how decimal values line up with their binary equivalents. For example, the decimal number 2 is written as 10 in binary. And the number 9 becomes 1001. Because binary only uses two digits, it usually takes more characters to express the same value compared to decimal, but remember, binary is still the more efficient choice for machines. So, the next time you see a long string of zeros and ones, don't let it intimidate you. It's just binary. And while it may look complex, it's the most natural and direct way for a computer to operate. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.